Welcome back, Bruins. Today is National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. Our lunch options for today are nachos with meat and cheese, loaded baked potato, and a regular and spicy chicken sandwich. Our sides today are refried beans and a veggie tray. In national news, the Pacific Garbage Patch has now grown twice the size of Texas, making it weigh 88,000 tons. A study led by Laurent Labrint of the Ocean Cleanup Foundation found 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic. According to the World Happiness Report that was released on March 14th, a couple of days before World Happiness Day, the winning country for being the most happy is Finland. Second is Norway, who was the winner last year. In other news, scientists found a mysterious skeleton in the Chile desert a couple of years ago. This attracted several scientists and UFOologists to study it. After a few years, it turns out it was a very young human female baby. Now to Martin and Dante with Er, now to Martin with the sports and weather. Thank you, Anchor. Sports team. We'll be practicing today from 4 to 6. March Madness comes to an end tonight when Michigan goes against Villanova. Go Blue. Congratulations to the Notre Dame women's basketball team who won the NCAA championship yesterday and, as much as it pains me to say it, to the IU women's basketball team who won the WNIT championship. Now for the weather. It will be partly cloudy today with a high temperature of 47 degrees with no chance of precipitation and 74% humidity. There is a track and field parent meeting tonight after practice in the cafeteria. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Martin. There will be an 8th grade trip on May 29th to the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. The cost is $52. The bus leaves at 7 a.m. and returns at night. Students who have referrals or ARR slips are not eligible to go. Sign up as soon as two buses are full and only one is left. There is a limited number of slips for this trip. Today is Autism Awareness Day. The United Nations holiday brings awareness about autism in the communities all over the world. People work together to help with research treatments for individuals with autism. All types of educational events are held for the parents, teachers, and healthcare workers. A video to raise your awareness of autism will follow after Ms. Trotter in a few minutes. On this day in history, in 1972, Charlie Chaplin returned to America. The celebrity birthday is Quavo, who is turning 27. He is known as Migos, who are best known for their single, Burst to Task. Our random fact of the day is that according to a 2015 study, sarcasm can promote creative thinking. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Bruins. Bruins. Good morning, everybody. Um, Mr. Harsh is not here uh, right at the moment. He's not in the studio, so I'm going to make a quick announcement for him. This Wednesday night is an open house welcoming incoming seventh graders, people who are now currently sixth grade students, and that's a big open house night. And in the past, um, some of my students have helped out that night, pace setter students. If you were a pace setter in the past and you are interested in helping, um, that night, then you need to see me today so that I can get you signed up and give you details. You need to stop by my room. I can get you a pass to class, but please stop by my room so that we can get everybody lined up for Wednesday night. Also, the autism awareness video that we have for you will take a little bit of time. If we don't finish it today, we will finish it tomorrow. So here it is. We are responsible for our own emotions and actions. We decide who our friends are and how we treat them. We decide how we treat those who aren't our friends. How do you treat kids with autism? Autism is a difference in the way a person's brain is wired. Even though kids with autism don't look any different than you or me, because their brain sends and receives messages differently, they might relate in unusual ways to people who have unexpected